Creighton, they've had some tough losses, mm. some close losses lately. As fans, well, we can't do much, right? We can't really do much except cheer. Yep, loudly. Helping Coach Greg McDermott in the annual Coach's Charity Challenge, though that's a different story where fans alone determine the winner. Here from Abide, former Jay, Josh Dotzler and Jen Dotzler. Nice Thanks. to have hey. you back. Hi, Jen. Hello. You know, she doesn't just cheer loud. She complains loud. Oh. <laughs> you hear her belly aching? Well, no, I just aching. said another close loss right. last night. I mean, it's it's tough as a fan mm -hmm. to watch it. As a former player, as what do you, a former how do they player, fix it? Uh, the you know, one of the challenges is 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 getting other players, and so recruiting is going to be huge. I feel bad because you, you go from a year where you have the player of the year in college basketball, mm -hmm. and a team that had been together for four years, and and now you got the guys who are trying to follow them, and and, and having just all the have challenges. As much experience, right? I mean, guys, you, you empty the shelves, and then right. you can't come come back and play on the same level. Anyway, let's break this down for us. What is the Infinity <laughs> Coaches Charity Challenge? Yeah, so uh, the, the the challenge is between 48 Division One coaches, mm -hmm. and uh, Coach McDermott was picked as one of the coaches to compete in it. Um, my former coach, Coach Dana Altman, is, right. is a part of the, the challenge at Oregon. I was kind of upset that he didn't pick our organization. Um, but the coaches pick an organization of their choice, and the fans vote for those uh, coaches to mm -hmm. go to the next round. And, and so did Coach McDermott pick Abide, and that's why you are here, to encourage us to vote for him, because ultimately it affects you. He did. He, he, he emailed us and said, hey, I'm in this challenge. I'd love to pick Abide. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Right. And initially I said, no, I don't, I don't think we can. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> How do we participate? Walk us through this. And it, I don't know if we could show our viewers live so they know exactly what to do, but take us step by step here. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty simple. You go to uh, ESPN backslash uh, infinity, and there you'll find the coaches challenge. There's different coaches. You, you scroll down to find Coach McDermott mm -hmm. and click on vote under his name, and, and they'll ask for some of your information. and. Um, and then your vote will be cast. And you can vote every single day. Oh, great. That's the cool thing about it. Great. Did, did all Until when? Sorry, what's the deadline? So there's four different rounds. And so the 25th of this month is round number one, the end of round number one. Okay. Currently, we're sitting in, I believe, seventh place, um, which the competition in me wants to, to <laughs> win. Not just to win the money, but right. wants to win. And so we're going to help you do that. We're going to We're going to raise those uh, numbers a little bit. But break this down for us. Uh, how is this going to benefit Abide? Yeah, variety of ways. Obviously, the more people we can get engaged in, in a challenge like this, the better. Mm -hmm. uh, our, our organization um, is built on volunteers and people uh, who, who participate. But then financially, with every round, there's financial compensation. So round one's $1,000, mm -hmm. which Infinity okay. of Omaha already committed to doubling um, that first round winnings right. if we make it to oh, the wow. second round. Right. Um, but the, the, the final, uh, the winner, gets $100,000. And, and Jen, what does that do for Abide? I don't want to jinx this and yeah. say you'd get that, but what does any kind of dollar amount mean to your mission? Well, I mean, it, it goes it goes into so many different areas. There are different programs, and um, Abide does so much, and, and it overflows into the community in, in various ways. So it, it will be, it'll make a big difference. In the lives, sure. and the, here are mm -hmm. some pictures to give our viewers an idea if, if they're not familiar <laughs> with Abide and the kind of work you do. Josh, you said you rely on volunteers to get a yeah. lot of this work yeah. done. How do you come in contact with some of these properties and some of the folks in need? Yeah, I mean, just in the North Omaha community, there are dilapidated properties, houses all over the place. And so our organization helps identify those properties that are considered the dark spot in that neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And uh, kind of our way to rehab them is through volunteers and donated materials. So uh, any given house can take several hundred volunteers, and then with donated materials, um, we're able to fix up that house for forty to fifty thousand dollars. And how does this Better Together Blue Out fit into all this? How does this work? Yeah, just a cool, cool opportunity. Well, I actually, I brought you guys yeah. some T-shirts. And you're some, wearing some, you're some wearing, blue Better Together you're both shirts. Got them on. Yeah. S similar to the Ooh. pink out yeah. that Creighton just Ooh, I had, love this. Um, we're going to really have cool a better team. together blue out, mm -hmm. and so it's a it's an opportunity for people to first ten thousand fans mm -hmm. get a blue better together T-shirt. Wh which game did you say? February sixteenth. Okay. There so you. they get a T-shirt, they mm -hmm. get an opportunity to give to I our organization. Cool. It and looks like uh, Tim Decker just threw this together real quick. <laughs> 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 this right Brush stroke right? lettering. Hey, we should have him do one of those. Wouldn't that be cool? Tim, that's a good we're idea. talking about you, my friend. <laughs> Let's get into the T-shirt business. He's still cleaning <laughs> up. And listen, if you would like to learn more about the Coaches Challenge, about Better Together, about Abide, the website is abideomaha.org. 
And one of the things you said a few years ago that stuck with me was this idea that no city should have an inner city. Right. And, and that stayed in my heart, I've got to mm -hmm. tell you. And I respect more than anything the work you guys are doing. And I know it's not because you were, you know, a Jay and celebrity and the whole thing. This is right. your family's work. Right. Um, and so now, as a family with your little ones, bringing them up in service, yeah. right. it's yeah. impressive. Thank you for being here. Thank Jay, you. Nice to see you. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate you, you both. Celebrity chef Donatella Arpaia knows how to spend less time preparing meals and more time enjoying your family. Maybe the two of you with three little ones could get some ideas here. She's even got a way to get your kids to eat their veggies. She'll explain it all after the break.